Hey, Mike with Nerd Problems Gaming here, the channel where we go through the good and bad of everything nerdy to make sure you spend your time on the best of the best. And in today's video, I'll be covering seven new Nintendo eShop RPG games worth picking up, so let's get into it. So depending on when you're watching this video, these specific games may not be on sale anymore, but as of the time of filming this video, these are seven great RPGs worth picking up that are on sale right now in the Nintendo eShop. So let's get into it. So the first game I've talked about several times on the channel, but it's Moonlighter for Nintendo Switch. This one's on deep discount right now, and it's definitely an RPG game worth picking up. So in this game, you play as a merchant in a village of merchants that's kind of on the down and outs. And so you are playing as this merchant who is building up his shop in attempts to gain notoriety, but also help restore the village to its once former glory. And so by day, you manage your shop, and by night, you dungeon dive into dungeons that are sitting outside of the city. And so as you progress, you'll go through these different dungeons and collect treasures that you'll bring back and sell in your shop the next day. And so it's really cool and a lot of fun. It's one of the most addicting RPGs on Nintendo Switch, and it's one of my favorites as well. And so as you progress, you'll get better equipment. You'll be able to actually level up and improve your shop as well. So you can hold more items for sale. You can decorate your store to get additional benefits. And you can even hire an assistant that can help manage the day-to-day -day operations of your shop, which can allow you to dungeon dive both at night and in the day. And so I really like this game in the sense that when you are managing your shop, you can actually alter and adjust the prices and decide what you have on sale in the moment. So you'll have customers that walk around and check out your goods and items, and they'll kind of give either happy faces or frown faces, indicating that they want to buy the goods that you're selling at the price you're offering. And depending on how positive a reaction they have, it can let you know if you're on the right track for pricing or you're doing too much or you're in that sweet spot. And so again, like I said, as you get more money, you can use this to better your equipment, upgrade your shop and more. And it is a roguelike RPG as well that plays a lot like The Legend of Zelda. And so as you progress and get better items, you can get further. And then there's boss fights within each dungeon as well. So this is definitely a super fun game and definitely worth picking up in this Nintendo eShop sale. All right, so the next game on the list is Dragon Quest. And this is the game that started it all. And so in this game, you follow the legendary hero who is taking on the evil Dragon Lord. And so this game introduces a lot of the monsters and iconic imagery and music that they use throughout the later games in the Dragon Quest series. It's one of my favorite RPGs of all time. And in this Nintendo Switch version, they've worked out some of the different kinks uh, in the game, upgraded the graphics and more. Now, some people might not enjoy this game if they don't like very basic turn-based RPGs. But for me, I love that style of gameplay. And again, it's great to just be able to relive a classic in the Dragon Quest series. So if you haven't played Dragon Quest, I definitely recommend picking it up in this Nintendo eShop sale. The next game on the list is Blasphemous. Now, I just picked up this game in this eShop sale, so I haven't had a lot of time with it, but so far it's a ton of fun, and I'm excited to dive more into it. This game is really dark and gritty, and it's a Metroidvania-style game, so an intense action platformer, and it takes a lot of elements from the Dark Souls series as well. It almost feels like a 2D Dark Souls game, and so as you play, you're going to be facing various monsters and bosses, and you really need to learn and adapt to their patterns and really master the skills that you develop as you play. This game is very hard so far as well, so if you want an intense challenge, if you like Dark Souls type games, but want to try it out in a 2D Metroidvania style, I would recommend picking up this game in this latest Nintendo eShop sale. The next game on the list is Dragon Quest II, another classic in the Dragon Quest series. This game takes the gameplay of the original Dragon Quest game and really takes it up another level. Instead of just playing as a single character, you're introduced to multiple characters in this game. But one thing I will say is that sometimes this story can be a little bit confusing and I would highly recommend playing this game with the assistance of a walkthrough. I know there were several times as I played through the NES version, I found myself getting stuck in the game 
and not really sure what to do. So hopefully they've improved a little bit of the story so it makes a little bit more sense and you can avoid getting lost in this Nintendo Switch version, but you'll get to play with enhanced graphics, updated features and more. And it's on sale right now and I definitely recommend picking it up. The next game on the list is Children of Morta. So this is another game we reviewed on the channel and I had a blast playing it. And in this game, there's kind of like a blight that's affecting the land. And so it's slowly killing off and taking more territory and you band together as a family to take on this growing evil and threat. And so again, it's another top-down roguelike RPG where you're dungeon diving to restore the land. And again, in this game, you play as different members in the family. And so each family member has kind of their own unique skill set that you play as, their own unique abilities. Some are up close, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Others wield hammers. Others use a bow and arrow. Others in the family use a sword and shield. Some have magic and more. And so it's really cool where I really like that top-down roguelike dungeon crawling RPG. And so that's what this game has, but it also has that unique variety where you can play with the different family members. They each have their own abilities and levels as well, so you can power them up individually. But then as you unlock the different skill trees within the game, there are several benefits that will affect all family members as well. So it's a lot of fun, it's a great RPG, and I definitely think it's worth picking up in this latest Nintendo eShop sale. The next game I recommend picking up in this Nintendo eShop sale is Dragon Quest 3. And so again, third installment in the Dragon Quest series. And what's cool about this is that Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 are all kind of in the same universe, but this one is actually the first one in the timeline of these three games. So you get more of the backstory of the game, but what's also cool with this game is that they introduce a class system to the game. So you stay your main hero as the main character, but you can actually recruit other characters throughout the game and then set them to different class types. And so this was cool. Each class type learns their own unique skills and abilities as you play. It is again, more that traditional turn-based RPG, but for a lot of people, this is one of their favorites in the series. So much so that they're actually doing a brand new remake of the game beyond this one that's on sale right now that will feature a similar graphic style to like an Octopath Traveler, where it's gonna be a combination of like a 2D and 3D remake. So again, for them to do that, it's obviously one of the better ones in the series and I recommend picking it up in this latest Nintendo eShop sale. The next RPG on the list is South Park, The Stick of Truth. And so I first got this RPG on the PlayStation 3. I had a ton of fun with it. I think if you're a South Park fan, you'll definitely really enjoy it, especially if you enjoy RPGs as well. They kind of poke fun at the genre. And especially if you're a big fan of South Park, the show, there's a lot of references to different episodes and characters throughout the game. And so it's really a lot of fun. The items are fun, the abilities are fun, the battles are super engaging and more. The storyline is over the top ridiculous, and so it's worth a laugh. It's certainly for mature audiences though, so depending on who you're shopping for, if it's for yourself or maybe a child, uh, pay attention to that. But this game is a lot of fun, it's on sale right now, and I think it's one of the RPGs worth picking up in this latest Nintendo eShop sale if you haven't played it before. Now as a bonus, I threw in uh, an eighth game I wanna talk about in this video because I actually just picked it up on sale, but unfortunately the sale just ended like a day ago, so it's not a part of the current sale as of the filming of this video. But since I did pick it up within the last 24 hours, I wanted to talk about it, and that game is Dragon's Dogma. Now I haven't had a ton of time to play this game yet, but it's pretty cool so far. It's a third person action RPG that plays similar to like a Skyrim or an Elder Scrolls game. But again, it's in that third person perspective. It does have a character creation option when you get started. You also have the ability to choose a class when you start the game, be that kind of a warrior type, more of a rogue thief type, or a magic user. And that will obviously impact your gameplay. But the story so far from what I can glean is that your village is attacked by a dragon, but somehow he chooses you and actually steals your heart, but somehow you survive and now you're on a journey to defeat that dragon and get your heart back and help protect your village. And so throughout the game, you're going to level up, 
gain experience. You can also recruit pawns into your party, which are various different characters. And then you can take on quests throughout the village as well, throughout this open world type action RPG. But let me know in the comments below if you've played this one, how you feel about it. Did I waste my money? Was it a good find? Let me know in the comments below. But let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed these eShop pickups, if you haven't picked any of these up, or if you're going to now you heard that they're on sale, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button as it really helps out the channel. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new nerd videos we put out. And if you'd like to help us support the channel, pick out content and more, become a patron of ours at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Patreon. And if you'd like to plug into our live streams and let's plays you do on the channel, you can follow us on Twitch at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Twitch. But once again, thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.